Greetings, it is Max Odidali here, and today I am here with another Python tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with how to get user input in Python and then validate for data. So let's get right into it. But firstly, if you want to see how we actually validate data using Python, click the eye up in the corner. There are many tutorials you can use that work perfectly with this tutorial, as the focus of this tutorial is to get the user input. So, this line of code is how we get user input. We do user input equals input, enter name please. So what's going on here? User input is going to be the name of our variable. It's going to be where we store the input the user gives us. Input is a function that gets user input. And enter your name please is going to be the text that's displayed before the user input. It's like a little message to ask the user what you want. At the top here, we're going to do def valid name and then name and then a colon. And then we're going to do return len name greater than three. Basically, we are creating a function here that's going to act as a placeholder for whatever validation you want to use. And basically, we do def, which is short for define. We do valid name, which is the name of our function. We do name as a parameter we want to pass in. We have the brackets, we have the little colon. Then we do return len name is greater than three and we're just checking if the length of the user input or the name is greater than three. If it is, return true. If it's not, return false. If you want to know more about this, click the eye in the corner. Underneath, we are going to do an if else statement. So we're going to do if valid name user input colon print thanks plus user input else print invalid name. So what's going on here? So we have an if statement. Basically, if something's true, do something otherwise do something else. That is what an if-else statement basically is. So if valid name user input, since we're calling this function without an equals true or a false, we are checking that it's true by default. So if the user input has a valid name, we do print thanks user input. And basically that's going to say thanks and then the name. If we do, if let's say the user inputs in less than three characters, then the else is going to be triggered because this will be a false. And then we do print invalid name because the name is not valid. And that, my friends, is how you validate user inputs you receive from the Python console. And again, if you are confused by the, the validation technique, click the eye up in the corner. That will explain everything you need to know. And thanks for being a great audience. So let's hit save and hit play. Enter your name. I'm going to type MA and it says invalid name because two characters is less than three, therefore it's not greater than three. Let's try again but with Max O. And it says thanks Max O because it was a valid name. Since Max O is greater than three, valid name returned a true, therefore we executed what was in the if statement and not what was in the elf statement. So thanks for being a great audience, be sure to subscribe and again click the eye up in the corner for other validation tutorials to teach you how to validate your data since you now know how to get the user input. Thanks for watching.